Burning more calories than you consume. A detailed guide introduction. Setting the stage. Welcome back everyone. Today, I'm taking on a personal challenge that many of us can relate to. Burning more calories than I consume over a week. This concept is key to weight loss and I'll be walking you through the ins and outs of making it happen using cardio and smart dietary choices. If you've ever felt like you're working out a lot but not seeing the results, this video is for you. So let's dive in. Step 1. The Foundation Calories in versus calories out The cornerstone of any successful weight loss journey is understanding the balance between the calories you consume and the calories you burn. This is commonly referred to as calories in versus calories out. If you consistently consume more calories than your body burns, you'll gain weight. If you burn more than you consume, you'll lose weight. It's that simple in theory, but the execution is where people often struggle. Think about it. We often underestimate the number of calories we consume and overestimate how much we burn through exercise. For instance, you might burn 500 calories in a one-hour cardio session, but unknowingly consume 1,000 calories later in a meal. That's why tracking both what you eat and how much you exercise is crucial to creating a calorie deficit needed for weight loss. Step 2. Cardio Workouts it's not just about the time you spend. When we talk about burning calories, cardio is often the go-to solution. And while cardio is effective at burning calories, it's not a silver bullet for weight loss. Here's why. Many people believe that the more cardio they do, the more weight they'll lose. But that's not always true. You have to balance your cardio with your diet and strength training to see sustainable results. Some common forms of cardio include running, cycling, swimming, or even dancing. But the intensity of these exercises matters just as much as the duration. High intensity interval training, Chai IT, for example, can burn more calories in less time than steady state cardio, and it keeps your metabolism elevated even after you finish your workout. Step 3. The myth of eat what you want. After cardio now, let's address one of the biggest myths in weight loss. The idea that if you do enough cardio, you can eat whatever you want. I hate to break it to you, but this simply isn't true. Yes, cardio burns calories, but not enough to cancel out poor eating habits. Let's say you burn 600 calories in an intense workout, but then you hit a fast food drive through afterward and consume 1,200 calories in one meal. You're still at a calorie surplus, meaning no weight loss for the day, despite your hard work at the gym. This is why it's so important to track your food intake and make mindful eating decisions throughout the day. Step 4. Choosing the right type of cardio for you. Another misconception about cardio is that it's limited to just running or cycling. While those are great options, they're not the only ways to burn calories. The best type of cardio is the one you enjoy doing because you're more likely to stick with it. Love dancing? Put on some music and dance around the house. Enjoy swimming? Hit the pool and get some laps in. Even activities like hiking, jumping rope, and kickboxing can help you burn calories while keeping things fun and engaging. The key is consistency. Find what works for you and do it regularly. Step five, the science of burning calories, how your body uses energy. So, how exactly does your body burn calories? It all starts with the food you eat. When you consume food, your body breaks it down into macronutrients, carbs, proteins, and fats, which are then converted into energy. During cardio, your body taps into these energy stores to fuel your workout. The intensity and type of workout you do determine how many calories you'll burn and how your body reacts afterward. High-intensity workouts like HIIT can increase your metabolic rate even after you've finished exercising, while steady-state cardio primarily burns calories during the activity itself. Step 6. Diet is just as important as exercise. Here's the thing about weight loss. Cardio alone won't get you there. It's only one piece of the puzzle. Diet plays an equally important role in your success. You could be doing cardio every day, but if your diet is full of empty calories or you're consistently eating more than you burn, you won't see the results you're hoping for. That's why I advocate for a balanced diet filled with nutrient-dense foods that keep you full and satisfied. Think lean proteins, whole grains, and plenty of fruits and vegetables. These foods help fuel your workouts while keeping your calorie intake in check. When your body gets the nutrients it needs, you're less likely to experience cravings that lead to overeating. Step 7. Strength Training – The Unsung Hero of Weight Loss Another important aspect of burning more calories than you consume is strength training. While cardio helps you burn calories during your workout, 
Strength training helps you build muscle, which in turn boosts your resting metabolism. This means that even when you're not working out, your body is burning more calories throughout the day. Incorporating strength training into your routine two to three times per week can make a big difference in your overall calorie burn. Plus, building muscle gives your body a leaner, more toned appearance, which is often the goal of weight loss. Step eight, finding a sustainable routine. At the end of the day, the key to successful weight loss is sustainability. It's not about punishing yourself with hours of cardio or cutting out entire food groups. It's about finding a routine that works for you, something you can stick with for the long haul. This means combining effective cardio, strength training, and nutrition in a way that fits your lifestyle. Small, consistent changes over time are what lead to lasting results. Avoid quick-fix diets or extreme exercise regimens that you can't maintain. Focus on progress, not perfection. Conclusion, making calories work for you, so there you have it. Burning more calories than you consume is the key to weight loss. But it's not just about doing endless cardio. It's about finding a balanced approach that includes diet, exercise, and strength training. Track your calories, be mindful of your food choices, and find physical activities you enjoy. Thanks for joining me on this journey. If you've had experiences with cardio and weight loss, or have tips of your own, feel free to share them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out my other videos for more health and fitness tips. See you next time. Answer. Understand the principle of calories in versus calories out. Use cardio effectively but combine it with strength training and a balanced diet. Find a sustainable workout routine you can maintain long term. Track food intake to ensure you're creating a calorie deficit. Include different forms of cardio, such as HIIT, swimming, dancing, etc. Sources 1. GeorgeBlackman.com My 4-step script writing method for millions of views www.georgeblackman.com slash right on time my 4-step script writing method for millions of views 2. Vox.com Why you shouldn't exercise to lose weight Explained Chisong says www.vox.com 2016-428 weight loss exercise myth burn calories 3. Healthline.com What is the CISO diet and does it work for weight loss? Atux is www.healthline com nutrition psycho diet lifestyle text it's percent 20 true percent 20 that percent 20 calorie percent 20 intake 2 percent 20 weight percent 20 loss percent 20 percent 202 percent 20 uh, 4 culversity.com how to burn more calories than you're eating tips www.culversity.com source news how to burn more calories than you're eating 5. Healthline.com Cardio or weightlifting Which is better for weight loss? Tupsdavu.Healthline Com Nutrition Cardio vs. Weights for Weight Loss 6. MayoClinic.org Counting calories Get back to weight loss basics Tups.MayoClinic Org Healthy Lifestyle Weight Loss In-Depth Calories Art 2004-8065